My name is Jeff Gordon. We're in the Center for Genome Sciences and Systems Biology here at Washington University. This is our home. As a developmental biology lab, we were interested in this inner tube of life, the gut. We chose to ask whether the microbes that live in the gut were somehow communicating with the cells that line the gut. We wondered what are the contributions of this magnificent and invisible world of microbes that set up shop in the gut to the healthy growth of our infants and children. And our hypothesis was that healthy growth of infants and children is linked to proper assembly of this community of microbes. But it was a very intimidating question. The gut microbiota is teeming with life. Uh, an almost astronomical number of potential interactions occurring between organisms. How can we simplify? How can we start listening into the conversations between microbes that live in the gut and uh, the cells that line the gut? We chose a prominent member of the human gut microbiota and introduced it into the intestinal tracts of mice that were raised under entirely sterile conditions. That allowed us to transfer the microbes that live in the gut to these mice that were reared under sterile conditions. And we could build up complexity. We could add first a single member of the human gut microbiota and then more members in a very organized and defined way to start understanding the dialogue that occurs. We were very interested in trying to connect the dots between these animal models and human health and disease, and thought that looking at how microbes could affect nutritional status in children would be ideal, and perhaps even in children who aren't adequately nourished. We're lucky enough to be partners with a magnificent and inspiring group of individuals who've devoted their lives to understanding the origins of childhood undernutrition, how to prevent it and treat it. They live at the International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research in Bangladesh. They're led by an extraordinary person named Tamid Ahmed, who is studying childhood undernutrition. And he was interested in what the role of the developing gut microbial community was on the health status of infants and children. There is an African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. So that's how we began uh, our thinking. With a mother and a child living in an urban slum, her child is malnourished, and current therapy really doesn't overcome the long-term consequences of undernutrition and we wondered why. And in fact, it turned out that children who are undernourished, and their microbial communities look younger than you would expect based on their chronological age. And the severity of this state of disrepair correlated with the severity of their undernutrition. So we returned to this technology that I alluded to before of rearing mice under sterile conditions. Um, and did microbial community transplants. That test of causality indicated um, that, in fact, the microbiota might contribute to the pathogenesis of undernutrition. Of course, the mother and the child living in Mirpur don't want to wait and are hoping for a better future. So we went to Tamid and his colleagues and say, give us a list of complementary foods which are culturally acceptable in general, affordable and available. And perhaps we could screen them in our notobiotic animal models to see how well they might repair the communities of children with undernutrition. So we did that. And in our animal models, they were able to do this repair with a number of effects on animal physiology that were beneficial. And we proceeded to a clinical study. So we're marching forward from um, a bench to bedside. We want to try to cultivate, ensure healthy development of our children, including the microbial dimensions of our children. This is one of the ambitions that we have and the ambitions of the mother living in Mirpur. How can I feed my children in ways that will promote their healthy growth and how can they realize their full potential? 
We're privileged to be able to share this journey. So if we're gonna travel far, we're gonna have to travel together.